Okay. Let's see, try to erase the... That was probably not going to matter that much, because... This hair is dark. I'm pretty sure it's black. These are like black and white photographs, and I think the paintings have him as black hair, but... I like to paint the hair dark, and then uh, after a while just kind of put a little bit of uh, <clears throat> asphaltium, which is a very, very dark brown, in there. Oops, wrong way. I'll do some, I'm going to do some, kind of make it a little wild. A little of this way and a little of that way, kind of a thing. Kind of still keeping it in the same, relatively same direction. way a little of that way. Make sure it comes up to this chin. Oh, it's getting in the way. I think since I'm fairly happy with the forehead, I am going to put the eyebrows in very, very carefully, very, oops, softly. Oh, it's not going to as soft as I want, right at the eyebrow bone of the skull. different. The mouth? I don't like the mouth that much here. Let's uh, go first. Let's see if this is going to help. Because I did want to tuck. It has to tuck underneath. Maybe if I start with a chisel. This down a little bit. I need to take that down a little bit. Just want to tuck that underneath. Now I didn't. I guess I forgot something here. I forgot to put this this in here. Like one of my carbon teachers a long time ago. He calls that the snot trough. That's a little better. Now one thing I did on this, did it work? Did it do on this one? I, now before you do this, I'm going to experiment with this. I did it on one of my other ones. Let's see if I did it right. I should have run and go get it. It's sort of a chip. It's a downward chip. Actually, did pretty good. Across, a little downward, and you don't want it to be get too big, to get too big, and it kind of puts an end to it, to the mouth there. Oh, geez, there's a lot of cleanup. 
Yeah, that turned out all right. The mouth is still a little lopsided, though. I'll have to redo this. Time to look to make sure everything is good. <laughs> everything fits. Let's try that again. Oops, I think I get that too deep. Oh, I think I made... Oh, did that work? It would be a little uniform here. Make this a little deep, deeper. There. <sighs> well, other than the picking... I'm going to do some picking with this. Um, like I showed in one of my videos, I can probably get started in showing. Let's, let's look, maybe I'll, is this a good place to start? What I'm going to do is I am going to put my visor on, <coughs> depending on what kind of visor you got. And let's see if I can do this and show this, what I've been doing for picking. And bring it up <laughs> like you want to, like this blade here. I like how the 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 final tip or the how it comes up like like this like a you know a Swiss knife or a, a pocket knife. these nice clean cuts. Yeah, I'm trying to do this close to the camera. And so it's kind of difficult coming at this angle. And you can see the cuts are a lot more cleaner. And here I add a little extra, just a little extra shadow makes it all that much more interesting. Now we're just we're just picking at it. a little bit. Might have to get a chisel in there. Now, of course, you don't want to do this cleaning up part until after you're pretty well sure you want your carving to be the way it is, or the way you want it to be. I mean, even though I spend, there's still a lot, a lot more going on in there. And see, the thing is, is if you can get it so it looks good under the visor, then it looks good without the visor, and it looks good sitting on the shelf, too. Let's do one more on this side here. That's right, I gotta fix that bow. I almost forgot about that. Come on out of there. Of course, you never pry with your knife, but you can use your knife to pull it out if it's laying there. <sighs> I think the tie might still be alright, as is. Very careful, this is how I goofed it up the last time. <sighs> I 
that's where you really need to have a very sharp tip. I kind of made a cut there. <sighs> but I can go on and on. Um, <clears throat> I don't want know what more to add. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some odds and ends. I got the, the eye. I think I might open the eye a little bit more. But, um, I don't know. I think he looks not bad. Clean up in the back. And, yeah, that does, see, that does look a little too hunchy of him. So I'm going to have to do a lot more cutting off. I don't need to show you that. It's just, it gets to a point where you, you like it or... I think the nose might be a little too wide. Like I said, there's just a lot of picking here and there. But in the absolute long run, that's about it. I don't want to know what anymore to show you. You a happy Lincoln? Oh yeah. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> alright, alright. But anyways, there you are. Uh, my name is Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com. Uh, you can also see me on my Pinterest site, pinterest.com forward slash rscott56 to see the rest of my, the rest of my, uh, a lot of my carvings as a matter of fact, they're on there. And my blog site, and you go in the back of my uh, scottcarvings.com, you'll have all the other connections that, uh, to get and look at my stuff. Well, till next time.